This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Eight years have passed since 9-11. The U.S. is shifting its attention from Iraq to Afghanistan. Why does Osama bin Laden remain at large? And is the war in Afghanistan the good war? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. And I've ordered that the full resources of the federal government and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks who committed this act. Eight years have passed since the horrific events of September 11, 2001, and the U.S. government is still waiting to pay the $25 million reward it has offered to anyone who provides information leading to Osama bin Laden's capture. Meanwhile, almost eight years have passed since the U.S. has launched Operation Enduring Freedom, less than a month after the attacks of 9-11, in order to destroy Al-Qaeda and the Taliban government that harbored the group. It was supposed to be a swift and decisive victory until the U.S. botched an effort to nab bin Laden in late 2001 in Afghanistan's Tora Bora region. His trail has since gone cold and everything has gone wrong. George W. Bush shifted his attention to Iraq. We were told that the land of the two rivers was ruled by a horrible man who was stockpiling WMDs and was bent on setting the region on fire. We were told that he also had something to do with 9-11. We found out that we were duped. Never mind, they said. He's still a bad man, and Saddam was hung. It's important for us to stand with this young democracy as they live, as they try to build a society under the most modern constitution written in the Middle East, a constitution approved by millions of their citizens. We were also told that democracy is contagious, and once we plant it in Iraq, it will spread all over the Middle East. Then they showed us the purple fingers, and we rejoiced. But now Iraq has become the bad war. It has been deemed a war of choice. The good war, we are told, is in Afghanistan, a war of necessity in Obama's own words. Today, America mourns the memory of those who perished eight years ago. But today, America needs to reassess what has been done in the name of the victims of 9-11. Two horrible and unwinnable wars this is the reality of the situation. No Afghans or Iraqis have been directly involved in the attacks on 9-11. All 19 hijackers were Arabs, mostly from Saudi Arabia, and their leader is in hiding. Exacting revenge for 9-11 was, and still is, a job most suited for the CIA, anti-terror units, and other international security agencies. However, President Obama has already ordered the deployment of 21,000 additional troops to Afghanistan by the end of the year, bringing the U.S. total to 68,000 and the coalition total to 110,000. This is despite the fact that now, for the first time, a majority of respondents, 51%, in a recent Washington Post ABC poll said the war was not worth the fight. This past August was the deadliest month for U.S. troops since the start of the war in October 2001, according to the Pentagon. Taliban forces have gained ground and coalition troop casualties have steadily risen. Therefore, an increase in American troops on the ground in Afghanistan will only lead to more casualties. You do not have to be a military general to figure this out. Meanwhile, the U.S. has done a mediocre job on the intelligence side in the hunt for bin Laden. According to a recent article in the Times Online, the fruitless search for bin Laden has essentially been outsourced by the United States to a network of Pashtun spies run by the Pakistani intelligence services. One of the former CIA agents, called Mr. Keller, interviewed for this article, spoke no Middle Eastern languages, and was not an expert on Al-Qaeda or Pakistan. Now we know why the reward for bin Laden's head remains unclaimed. Those who attacked America on 9-11 are plotting to do so again. If left unchecked, the Taliban insurgency will mean an even larger safe haven from which Al-Qaeda would plot to kill more Americans. 
So this is not only a war worth fighting. This is a fun this is fundamental to the defense of our people. There is no good war and bad war in the aftermath of 9-11. There is bad strategy and it has been bad all along. I'm Jamal Dajani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mir. You have any questions? Just shoot me a tweet on Twitter. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.